Good day everyone! So this is just a short video regarding uh, phonon-photon interactions or scattering events. So take for example, meron kang object, meron kang crystal. When your crystal is exposed to light, ang pwedeng mangyari is that your crystal can absorb that light energy. And yung light na yun, pwede either magamit ng crystal para itaas yung energy ng electron niya into a higher state, creating uh, free electrons, or pwede... Pwede rin mangyari is that light can be absorbed by the lattice, turning into lattice vibrations, and magkakaroon tayo ng, let's say, conversion of the photon to a phonon. Pwede rin yung reverse. Pwede tayo mag-produce ng phonon into a photon. So, yung vibration natin, pwede siya maglabas ng light. So, yung physics governing the phonon-photon interaction is yung ating dispersion curves. Because in phonon-photon interactions, dapat meron tayong energy plus momentum conservation. Or ibig sabihin, energy in, energy out, momentum in, momentum out. Yung energy natin for a quasi-particle, E is just equal to H bar omega. Meanwhile, the momentum, P, is equal to H bar K. Nakita natin omega and K. Ito rin yung nasa dispersion natin, omega and K. Sa photon dispersion naman natin, for photons, the relationship of angular frequency and uh, wave number is given by this one. Omega is equal to CK. This comes from yung C is equal to lambda F or speed of light is equal to frequency times wavelength. On the other hand, sa photons, as a phonons naman natin, yung relationship ni angular frequency and the um, wave number is given by what we call our phonon dispersion relation. For a <coughs> for a one D a diatomic chain, the phonon dispersion relation is given by this one. Ito siya. So, this is the phonon dispersion relation for a 1D diatomic chain with uh, masses M1 and M2. Makita natin that omega, or the angular frequency, angular frequency here, is equal to C, the uh, elastic constant of your uh, bond. M1 and M2, M1, M2, this is the masses of atom, atom 1 and atom 2 times 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 2 m1 m2 over m1 plus m2 squared times 1 minus cosine ka. So nakita natin itong plus minus na to. Yung plus minus na to, this is related to the optical and acoustic branch. Pag plus to, makita natin this value would be great, uh, will be large, corresponding to a larger frequency which is yung optical branch natin. So, yung optical branch mo, larger yung frequency niya kasi sa optical branch natin, usually larger yung energy ng phonons natin. On the other hand, pag negative naman to, pag minus siya, this corresponds to your acoustic branch. And sa acoustic branch mo, lesser yung energy ng phonons mo. So, you can refer to the uh, PowerPoint uploaded in Uvle for the explanation between the uh, energy differences between optical and acoustic branches. Anyways, so... <coughs> For the optical branch, we have yung plus dito. And since photons usually have low K, photons usually have low wave numbers relative to their omega. Since yung slope nyan is nandito sa parang pataas lang, dito lang siya. It's in this region here. We can assume yung ating uh, long wave limit or K approaching zero for your optical branch or for your photons, phonons, and we have this relation. So to get the interaction of your photon and your phonon, dapat yung omega nila is equal and their k are equal. And when you have two curves or two lines, to get the point where they are equal, we just have to equate the two lines. So in this case, ang mangyari, to get this interaction here or to get this uh, intersection here between your photon and your phonon, 
which is your optical branch phonon, we have to equate this with this one here. And since this is omega squared, dapat gawin rin natin tong omega squared. So this will become C times M1 plus M2 over M1 M2 times 1 plus minus 1 minus M1 M2 over 2 M1 M plus M2 squared KE squared. This should be equal to C squared K squared. So now let's look at our problem in the assessment here. So suppose that a photon is absorbed by a one-dimensional diatomic harmonic chain with atoms of mass 1 times 10 to the negative 25 kilograms and 2.5 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms and the atomic spacing is uh, 2.0 angstroms if the quasi-electric force constant is 1,500 kilograms per second squared. What is the wavelength of the absorbed radiation? So to solve for this um, problem, what we need to understand is we're just looking for we're basically just looking for this point here or the intersection or the point in which your photon can be absorbed by this diatomic harmonic chain. So we use this equation C M1 plus M2 over M1 M2 times 1 plus minus 1 minus M1 M2 over m1 plus m2 times 2 squared ka squared and this should be equal to your photon dispersion which again is c squared k squared so to get the wavelength of the absorbed radiation we must get for k since k is equal to 2 pi over lambda. And lambda is what we're looking for. So we have, in this situation, we just solve the give, uh, we just look for k. Since we have given demand for c, c is equal to 1,500 kilograms per second squared. m1 and m2 are given. They are 1 times 10 to the negative 25 and 2.5 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms respectively. And yung ating small a or the atomic spacing is equal to 2.0 angstroms. And solving for this, you can solve for yung ating quiz problem. So, I'll stop here. Thank you for listening.